Queen Elizabeth's cause of death has been revealed. Her Majesty's death certificate was just released and cites the cause of her passing as old age. According to an excerpt from an entry in the Register of Deaths, the 96-year-old monarch died on September 8, 2022 at 3.10 p.m. at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Her daughter, Princess Anne, was listed as the informant. With the time of death released, the Daily Mail says that it is presumed only King Charles and his sister were by their mother's side when she died. Following her passing, the United Kingdom mourned the loss of their sovereign, who celebrated a historic 70 years on the throne in June. Access Hollywood recently spoke to DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about the legacy she leaves behind. I don't think the impact of the Queen's passing can ever really be overstated. I can imagine that tears are being shed the world over. I myself have already shed a few. I know that my family and friends in the UK are all devastated. The reality is for most people in the UK and indeed the world over, they have not known life without the Queen. I was born and raised to respect and admire the Queen. My mother has not known life without the Queen. And I am one of millions who are used to not only having her almost as a, a symbol of comfort because she has always been there, but also as an immense symbol of pride in what it means to be British and what it means to be part of a nation that, yes, is very small, but as a result of the monarchy and as a result of the work that the Queen has done tirelessly over 70 years, our nation has had an incredible impact on the world. And that's something to be especially proud of as a Brit, both today and continuing on into the future as we continue to remember the Queen and everything she did during her reign.